Hi friends, my name is Griselle with Psychic MD and I'm here to bring you another take a card session. And this reading is going to be, can you guess, about love of course. So we will find out, it could be a coupled love or about the love that you can attract. Let's see what's in the cards. This is going to be one, this is going to be pile two, and this will be three. And here we go. All right, if you choose the orange, orange calcite, I'm gonna say, and I haven't looked at the cards yet, but the first thing I wanna say is that orange to me represents a lot your second chakra. That is your sacral chakra. That is a pleasure center. That is the ability to enjoy life. It could be sexual. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but that's just something to think about. Okay, so romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so let's hang on to this. Now, for the sake of the reading, I wanna go ahead and get rid of these. And I'm gonna put them off to the side and bring them back when it's their turn. There we go. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Let's hope that that doesn't combust into flames as I have the candle behind it. Let's see if we can get this more in the frame. Much better. Okay, so your feelings, romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. So let's see what else we can do. I'm trying obviously a different way of getting things on camera. So here we go. Romantic feelings for pile number one. What do they need to know? For their highest good, for the good of their partner, potential partner, for the good of all. I'm gonna take these as well. And okay, so I have the King of Wands here. I think that someone is thinking about you or you're thinking about someone you're contemplating. This is a place of grand power, I wanna say. You're definitely sitting um, in a place where you can kind of oversee the land. But I feel like for some of you, you are desolate, meaning it's been a while since you've had a relationship, a situationship or a complicationship, regardless. Um, I think that you haven't had much going on in a while. You're just kind of looking and surveying the land. I don't think that it's for lack of options. You have a lot of options. He's not speaking his truth. He's holding his tongue. He's thinking about things, yet he's ready to pounce. This is gender neutral. Um, I don't tend to read a lot of genders unless I see it specifically. But I want to say that in this case, um, you're definitely really picky. You don't feel like there is a lot around you that is worth your time and trouble, energy and effort. It does not spark that inner fire in you and so you're not gonna pursue it. You're holding onto your wand, which is your passion. I feel like you're waiting for a worthy, I don't wanna say worthy opponent, but worthy prey, worthy person to chase or be chased by. I hate to put it that way, but that's this is a little bit primal. This king, I feel like, is primal. He's fiery. He gets excited about his own ideas. He'll pursue you with, like, a passion. Like, you're going to know that he's interested in you um, and vice versa, I feel. Now, there's a lot of gold colors here, a lot of red. I feel like you need to be secure. Like, you need to see that this person is stable. Um, I'm getting that you need to see that they're mentally stable. I know that that's kind of a weird thing to point out right now, but... Considering how the world is going lately, it's making some of us a little bit crazy and crazier. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause right here and let my dog out. Um, my dogs have trained me. Okay. So, I think that you're taking your time. You're considering who is going to be a good person to give your time and attention to. Your experience, you're not about to chase just anyone or anything that just happens to walk on by. You're not interested in that kind of behavior. Um, and by the same token, I think that you maybe do have someone in mind, okay? 
the Prince of Cups. So this is someone who is romantic, who's maybe younger than you, who vocalizes a lot of their emotions towards you. Like they're like, wow, that person, like they look at you and they go, wow, you are just beautiful. You're handsome. You're exciting. I want to bring my cup to you. I want to wow you. I want to like Netflix and chill with you. I want to sex you up. I mean, they're really highly romantic, but by the same token, they have no staying power. So I feel like you're just thinking about things. You're like, I'm not going to say that you're not worth my time, but I'm looking. I'm looking to see what you do, what you're about. Do your actions match your words? You have staying power. I do see that you're sitting on a white horse. Um, you're chivalrous. But this is a knight or a prince that can also be in love with love. And that's a problem. And I think that you know this. You don't want someone who is just like in it for the minute. And then gone. So we're not playing that. And I think that's why you're sitting firm on your foundation. You're looking at what is abundant. Because you yourself is abundant. And you don't need any scallywags in your life right now. Just to kind of muck things up, right? We want like a permanence. We want a lush landscape. And you are building that all by yourself, I feel. Even if you're not like wealthy the way we think of wealth, um, you definitely want the abundance that comes with like your heart chakra activated, meaning you are vibing and tribing and communicating in a right way, in a way that makes you feel stable. Because you're looking at their actions and thinking, okay, is this a stable partnership? Is this someone who is here for a while? Or again, are they in it for the minute and gone? Um, you're holding your own, but I don't think you're going to give them a lot of, I don't know. I don't think you're going to give them a lot. Like if you do, it's going to be like a flash in the pan kind of an experience. If you know what I mean, this night, I'm sorry, I keep calling them a night. This person that's younger than you, even emotionally, mentally, uh, spiritually, they're not here to stay. And with that, you saw I shuffled the cards. So, um, I'm getting the five of cups. I could be feeling like, gosh, I lost an opportunity. I feel sad for the times when I did have an emotional connection with someone, when it was just fun, when we can just like live in the moment. And I had that hope, whatever the case may be, I feel like you're feeling a loss. Um, and it can feel like a loss sometimes when the land is barren, like around you and you see someone that does express finally like an interest in you but you know that they're just not a right match and you cannot lower yourself to meet that. It's just not gonna work um, for you mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It's just not going to happen. You're not gonna waste your resources I'm getting as well, but it does create a sense of isolation, a sadness, a time for wishing that things were different. Um, interesting, I'm getting loss of blood. I feel like for some of you, it's you're perhaps older such as I am and you're thinking, maybe a loss of blood, that blood has been spilled. I know that's like for only one or two of you, but it can also stand for like going through menopause. Then maybe the time, your time, you feel like is, is passing away from you and that you just don't have any hope to start a family if you are a late bloomer such as I have been in life. But then um, you're feeling like you're standing on icy ground, that there's no one around and everything is just so concrete and set. And there's you know, a certain toll that you have to do or have to meet in order to make your dreams come true. And there's a lot of sadness looking at the past. I feel like you've been regal and royal and expectation, meaning that you don't want just any scallywag to settle down with. You want the right person. You want your person. You want the person that belongs to your tribe or your soulmate or your twin flame, however you view those things. And you're just feeling like, you know what? There's just no one out there. Um, I want like the good times, the fun times. But look, right behind you, you have the two of cups. You have to turn around, look towards the future, not so much towards the past. It's going to be very, very important for you to focus on the deep connections that you do have. Because that can bring about a deep feeling of love, I believe, and more opportunities that you're not aware of. Okay? So the message here, focus on your future, please. Um, that's going to be the most beneficial move for you. Next I'm getting is the two of pentacles. And so I think that this is going to be a little bit of a juggling act. I feel like it's going to be juggling between looking at what I've lost in the good times and looking at potentially, um, 
close relationships, close friendships, or people that have like similar desires and interests and passions as you. I keep getting the number two right here, the two of coins, two of cups right here. And it tells me and this is more about your personal power, um, the two ships, of course. And I think that <clears throat> it's going to cause some rocky emotion while you try to juggle looking at the future trying to juggle i feel like you will feel like you're on slippery ground that things are not grounded for you um i want to say that's just really not true okay uh it's just it's an emotion i get the feeling of juggling things in life um and being emotional about it this guy has even one foot up in the air it's almost like how unstable can we become um, so this brings about a lot of instability and emotional, um, I don't know, emotional instability for you. I feel like you're trying to make things solid in the solid world and this realm. And, um, regardless of what you're juggling, which is career or ideas, I feel like it's just ideas and trying to stabilize your emotions. Just be very careful with that. I know that emotions are emotions that rock the ocean, right? But it's going to be very important for you to plant firmly. That's what the pentacles are. So plant firmly. Only take offers that really appear firm. You are correct to sit and wait and look and watch. Okay. So be your own stalker and just kind of look around and, and see if people are approaching you the right way. And if not, continue moving on. It's going to be okay. I feel like even with these ships present, you are abundant. Although emotionally, you may feel barren. Okay. Um place both your feet on the ground and come out think that you're in your head too much also okay so try to uh, get in touch with nature putting your feet literally in the ground in the grass touching trees whatever the case may be that's going to help ground you so much um and to be able to overcome this feeling of juggling even if you're doing the same motions i think emotionally if you're more grounded more at peace more in control and you don't have you're not led by all these emotions if you can diffuse them transmute them and put, give them back to mother earth you will surely feel so much better and not even feel like you're juggling anymore and i've never gotten that message um for this card before but this is for someone okay and before i forget if you can please take a moment to like share subscribe my little channel i would so appreciate your time and effort and with that let's move on because I see, I got a sneak peek and I know what this is. Oh, I thought I did. I did not. <laughs> mm, that's funny. So when you think you know, you don't always know, right? Next thing I have is a four of wands. And this is stability. That's what you want. You want stability. Stability of mind, of emotion. Also of career, of where you're living. Um, how do you say your domicile? Is that how you say it? So... I'm a reader, but not necessarily a speaker. I'm often going to mispronounce words, but here we go. Um, the Four of Wands is all about your stability in the home. I think about your four corners of your world right here is going to be very important. The corners of your, you know what? I don't like how this setup is making me crazy. Sorry to make you crazy, but I need something that is not going to be all over the place. Here we go. And that is surely better. Okay. All right, orange calcite people. So the four of wands, hey, funny, we're talking about stability and that was just all over the place. Did you notice how those little coincidental things seem to echo? So stability is still gonna be an issue for you. Um, it's still going to be extremely um, important for you to have that stability. I'm getting, look at this color, okay? Orange calcite, orange, orange up here. Again, attributed to your second um, chakra. And it's gonna be very important for you to have that stability, okay? Your root chakra needs to be stable for you to feel pleasure, feel like you can have fun, to feel abundant, to feel grounded. Um, even, like she even looks kind of pregnant. You can feel like you can start a family it doesn't necessarily have to be that you are gonna go make babies for some of us, like for myself, that's just not happening. <laughs> I'm good. Um, but starting your own tribal family it doesn't have to be family blood, sweat and tears. It could be of, of a chosen tribe, right? It could be people that we pick and place in our lives or get placed in our lives and we just accept. So um, point being here is that you, if you 
see people that are not stable and grounded, you're not going to allow yourself to cut loose and have fun, even if it's a sexual nature or um, just to go dating and stuff like that. You need someone who is grounded. And I feel like someone who's going to pursue with an eye for stability, for the future, for partnership. Okay, I don't think that you're going to attach yourself to anyone who is in play mode. All right. So that's what I'm getting. Let's take one more card. One more card for you. I should do this on camera. These cards are so big though. For the orange calcite people. And it's, they're hard to shuffle. Okay, we're taking these two. They flipped, they are yours. Okay, so the Prince of Wands. You do have someone coming towards you who's gonna be firing in eight fiery in nature as well um they are going to be a little bit more rooted more grounded but also they could be someone who wants to dip their wick if you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't know how far i could even express like what i'm thinking sometimes so i'm trying different ways of saying what comes to mind without just being brash which i have known been known to do um and this guy also could be in it for the minute. So just be aware of him. He's also on a horse. He's just quite fancy. I think he'll catch your eye. He's dressed in red. Could be that he's in pursuit of his own pleasures. Um, I get this peak here. Um, just all about peaking. I don't know. All about maybe climaxing, having affairs and things like that. He might be too young for you as well. I think this person is going to pursue you and stroke your fancy even more than the first one. Not necessarily a lot of uh, flowery words and things like that, but this person is going to be more hmm, like, okay, the words that are coming to I'm just going to repeat them. Okay, a bone getter. <laughs> he's like a dog that's going to get that bone. He's going to get it and he's going to pursue you with that mentality of a dog getting a bone enough said so uh yeah that's what i see there oh look why are you getting all the princes you you have okay i like this guy way better for you this person does not have to be a guy girl whatever okay it's a gender fluid but look i'm going to say this is a prince of pentacles this is somebody who wants to lay down roots he's thinking he she is thinking about laying down roots i'm seeing stars you could see even like stars with this person like get and I'm more and I'm what I'm uh, enchanted. The last two guys are going to be pretty tempting, I'll say. Um, but this one actually does want to lay roots. He just might be a little bit too young. You might feel like, mm, I don't know. But there's a chance for things to grow and bloom. Um, I'm looking at the tree. The tree is almost like I want to relocate. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything to you. Maybe he's going to say, hey, move in with me or let's move to far, far land. I'm thinking... I have veils here, so be careful that there's nothing hidden, that he has like a second family elsewhere, something like that going on. Um, I'm going to say this crown right here, this tree just wants to jump up and, and move. And I'm a little bit like perplexed by that. I, I don't feel like it's moving away from this person necessarily. If you choose to allow this pursuit or pursue this yourself, I think it's just that you are going to take your roots, your foundation, things that you have bought of long and of old, that this is how I want my relationship to look like, that you're going to uproot those ideas and replant into a different terrain, different land, meaning that you're going to allow ideas and thoughts and notions and possibilities into your life that you never thought you would have allowed before. By this root system being uprooted, it doesn't mean that it's dead. It could be planted elsewhere successfully, and it might take a little bit of a while to get grounded, but I feel like you're just allowing your mind to expand. And I like that. I like that this is green, that it's growing. There will be some time that your um, mind might be a little bit clouded, and you're not sure which way to turn. Once again, just make sure that you have looked beneath the veil, that you've looked at, you know, <clears throat> this person, what he, she is all about before you really decide to uproot those roots and settle in. So that is what I'm getting with that. I hope that you like the reading once again, and we're moving on to pile number two. Pile number two is a selenite. And we're getting the retreat. It's time to disconnect. It's time to disconnect. 
maybe walk into the woods, go into seclusion with your partner, if you are a partner. Um, it's a retreat, perhaps it's time that you are going down memory lane. I feel like memory lane for some of you. I don't know if that means anything to all of you, but definitely for someone. So trip down memory lane for others, you are going to take your partner and you're literally gonna go on a staycation, little mini vacation. You're gonna unplug from the world. Um, take note that this is a time just for you guys right whatever that looks like i don't care if you're in a poly family or if you're in a traditional uh relationship status whatever the case may be whatever that means to you i think that your retreat with your significant other or others plural if you are single af like me i think that uh, it's a time to withdraw within yourself it's a time that you are going to go into the woods and this journey is going to be deeper than you actually for those that have no one like no one um this retreat is going to be so significant like life-changing and eye-opening okay think that there's a lot of purity in your heart because the selenite just cleanses and purifies everything i think of just how you want to be perhaps even more transparent than you ever have been in your life. I think, look at these old, like, it's the old woods. It's almost like these trees are a little bit barren, a little bit dead. Um, and perhaps it's the season. I don't know. Perhaps it's the season simply of just retreating within your partner or you within yourself. And time to get, gain an idea, a higher perspective of where you're headed, where you're going. So you're not going to be sharing a lot with other people on social media, um, work, friends, family, whatever. You can go within yourself or just you and your partner are going to retreat, get to know each other. You're going to look at your inner landscape is what I'm getting. Inner landscape to find out, is this a good place that we're at? Is this where we want to be? Is this where we're headed? I feel like together you're going to gauge with a higher purpose, okay? If you're partner and I feel like this person is, you're kind of like a little bit your polar opposite physically, but emotional, spiritual, um, spiritually, I think they have a lot of purity as well that other people just simply don't see because they only see what's on the surface, okay? So that's a good match, good um compatibility also if you guys are in a breakup or a situation where you're not together in separation whatever you want to call it right um i think that there's still a lot of i want to say good bones i don't know why i keep going to that but um it's a time to retreat maybe you guys are separated you need to retreat within yourselves to look and find yourselves again and i think the purity of your relationship needs to be kind of you know how they um used to kind of refine gold and just kind of heat it up until there's like really just itty bitty nothing but the pure gold left and that's a, a refinement going on between you guys uh so that's what i'm seeing there All right so enough said for those that chose the selenite this is really awkward i need to learn how to shuffle like all the cool kids that do tarot on youtube okay retreat the pile with selenite what does this have to say please thank you so this one just flipped out <laughs> this flipped out for you so we're talking about retreat we're talking about cut that makes so much sense you guys cutting through the excess the lies the bullshit the deceit self-deception the stuff that we don't need maybe we have held on to of old ideas that really need to be transmuted especially during this time that the world has experienced some kind of crazy ending and new emerging of new god knows what's going on anyways um but you're cutting through all the bs and i feel like you know what you feel a sense of i know who i am i know my mind even our hair is like the root chakra it's like my glory isn't being stable i enjoy that stability and i'm cutting off all that does not give me that stability all the bs everything that clouds my mind everything that i know isn't just really worth my time energy effort after i feel like it's like going back to earth and bringing back mother earth into your life in some ways into your relationship and if you are single af then 
back to life within yourself, cutting through all the debris. Um, it's like cutting back like the forest from your home so that when a fire does spring forth, your home is not threatened. Such is my idea of this. But you're looking back and cutting through all of the garbage, all the stuff that you're responsible for, other people, it doesn't make a difference. And you're willing to cut it out and say, you know, that's not me anymore. This job isn't me anymore. I don't enjoy um, trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to, you know, wear the same clothing, the same bags, whatever. I mean, those things are just ridiculous and outdated to be able to... Um, keep up with has not brought you any joy. I feel like you're going to address things like that. Now, if you're in a relationship, you're going to cut out things that just don't become you. are like, you know what? We're messing with other people. I'm done with that. Are you done with that? Yes or no? And the answer is going to be yes or no. I think that you've had enough and you've had your fill. Um, you see the storm clouds in the sky. This has been brewing for a while. And even your seagulls are coming back to report. I think that you do get messages, you get ideas and notions that are right on the money, whether this person is messing with somebody else, whether you are, you're getting all sorts of enlightenment, epiphanies and things like that. That's going to help transmute your relationship if you are partnered. Okay, it's going to change things. It's going to boil down to basics, boil down to are you really my twin, spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever. Um, can we cut through all the bullshit to get down to who we really are at a core level? Um, to get down to basics, get, uh, you know, boil and get rid of all the debris that is no longer us. And let's start something that's deeper, okay? Um, if this is you, again, once getting to your heart, your matter, we do change with time and it's time to cleanse and cut through. So you're going to take a moment to retreat, to pause to look and to cut out what no longer serves you so that your land can continue being lush and beautiful. What else does the Selenite Heart have to teach us, please? For those that chose pile number two, yeah, I'm definitely gonna learn how to set up everything like the cool kids because I'm not thus far. Okay. So I have here, I guess I don't wanna um, the two of wands and what the two of wands I see here is just an error of expectation. Um, I see the blue skies again, speaking your truth can be really important right now. I see this formation. He's under some kind of a building or edificio edifice. Is that how you say it in English? Um, that's really beautiful regal of old of course um i think very elaborate and ornate so are his clothing his or her clothing it doesn't make a difference i think that this person is really comfortable with themselves and they are looking to speak their truth they have a lot of emotion but also they're waiting for whatever's going to come towards them are you going to reciprocate my emotions are you the type that gives you do you give me what i need mentally emotionally spiritually do i give myself if i'm single af do I give myself what I need mentally, spiritually, emotionally? I'm waiting for the ships to come in, okay? I've developed and given time, money, effort, energy into myself or this relationship or both. And I want to see like what good things are coming my way because it's time to make a choice. This is about your personal power, what drives you, um, what excites you because it is a wand, but always about personal power. Do I feel empowered? by my partner? Do I feel empowered by my own behavior? How I've chosen to live my life? Things like that. Does it ring true on a spiritual level? I'm getting a lot of crown chakra actually. I'm being activated with this. I think that you're headed there. It's not quite there yet. If you don't know what that is, look up crown chakra. This is where we get our enlightenment, our downloads from spirit, from God, whomever, your higher self. And um, I think that that's basically what is churning under all these waters and under all of that sky as well. So you're going to pick, and I think that you have a choice to pick between the old and the new. Maybe it's like how I used to do things, how we used to do things, how I used to pursue life, um, how I look at myself and other people. And you're going to go ahead and make a choice. Do I continue doing that or do I look with different eyes? And you, you're going to have like the, the skill, the talent, the ability because you carry those tools wherever you go because you are you in the end. But I feel like you're going to choose something new. 
something more exciting, a little bit more vibrant, more cutting edge. Doesn't have to be that you're choosing a new partner. It can be for some of you. Um, but I think that you're going to do things in a different way than you have in the past because you know that waiting for the ships, ships to come in, you're going to wait with a different level of expectation. Okay. So what else do my selenite number two people need to know? Oh, I didn't realize I picked this up. Okay. Here we is. Here we is people. Finances and career. Okay, so maybe you're waiting for things to come in on a financial front. Financial issues are affecting your love life right now. So the retreat could be perhaps some of you have done, gone through a job loss or a loss of a partnership or a partner, and you are seeking to go ahead and change that. Um, or maybe you're looking hard at, you know, what does the future hold? I'm gonna be conservative. And does my partner contribute? Um, is it worth the time, money, energy, effort? All of those things you're gonna factor in and you're gonna look at on a real deep level. I think that's really cool because it's a time of assessment. So maybe you are just clamping down on your um, spending right now, no more lavish vacations, even though traveling obviously might be an issue for most of us at this point in time in the world, globally but uh, you might be taking things just more of an earthy way just more of a natural way more of the old school way okay so what else do we need to know about our selenite people pile number two help us get messages for the highest good please and here we are because i saw you so we have to take it. So I have here the King of Cups. So this is someone who is, you know, they've been through a lot. They know that once upon a time they were in love with love. They can still be dreaming in their heads. But I feel like at this point, you would not necessarily know that. Now, I've never noticed how this cup is balanced very precisely on this pillar. If you were to walk by and greet him or try to give him a kiss on the cheek or something like that, that cup can be knocked over. So it just tells me that this king may not be the most stable emotionally. It has a ton of emotion that you know that at any point in time, he can actually, I'm gonna let my dog out. Oh, one in, one out. Why not? Um, I feel like you can trigger this king or you can be triggered. So if that's you, um, I think that you're going to approach a situation with caution. If this is someone new in your life, um, or if this is you, you're going to know if the shoe fits. If it doesn't, don't obviously put it on, but you're going to know that this person can be just like, it's seemingly out of nowhere, get emotional. Like that cup can get knocked off balance by something that you say or something said to you. So you want to be careful that you do have that balance, that you're looking at things in a good way, um, but also drop the pretense. I feel like this uh, steepling of the hands is just about kind of like I know everything or I've seen everything and just a little bit like arrogant. So if your partner or you have these characteristics, um, I feel like if that's challenge, your cup is going to go a flying friends. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing with that. Just be careful. If this is a new partner, they could be a really good partner for you. Like I said, they've been through all the stages of the cup suit and now they've achieved their highest, um, echelon. Is that how you say it? Anyways, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> their highest form and they're able to really think things through use their minds before they act so they know because of hasty behavior in the past it's not good to act all crazy willy-nilly based on your emotions okay they could be a little bit of a stor storm clouds with a little bit of sunshine in fact that's what my mom kind of calls me <laughs> um <clears throat> so that might be in your future <coughs> or in your current partnership and i flip this over and you want to be careful that you are not giving to other people, pardon me, um, that you are not giving to other people romantically if you are in a 
a partnership that's supposed to be monogamous or uh, even if you're in a poly family that you're going outside of that and you're not really honoring your half of the um, the contract, whatever that means to you. So this person can be giving to many different people, tossing like little coins and pennies for anybody around them. And that can mean like I'm seeking attention through text, through emails, through um, what do you call it? Through social media, anything like that. Just little like, oh, I like your picture and oh, you're so cute. You're this, you're that, whatever. However this fits, this could be just having little quote flirtatious um, <clears throat> mannerisms that really wreck your, in erode your relationship. So I personally don't want that in my life. I see the scales right here, the scales of justice, but this person is appointing themselves as like, um, okay, it's okay to give a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit everywhere. And so I'm going to look at that because right behind them, there's so many clouds. Again, things are nebulous. Maybe you're trying to clarify with your relationship if you two are on the same page. And indeed, if you come from the same um, mindset and heart set, right? Some of you, I feel like you're going to walk away. For those that are in a partnership, <clears throat> that retreat within yourself or that retreat with your partner can make you see that, you know what, they're just giving you little breadcrumbs. They're breadcrumbing you. You deserve better and you want a higher kind of love and you're going to walk the F away, right? Um, I see that passion, even though it is red and red, passion is going to force you kind of to go into the fray. Um, you've spent time, money, energy, effort, blood, sweat, tears to pour all of these cups and you've got eight cups of liquid like your very best drink poured into all these little eight um goblets and you want and you measure them perfectly and you make sure they didn't spill and you even stage them perfectly that takes time and effort but in the end they didn't give you what you wanted so things are very cloudy right now you may not know the whole truth and nothing but the truth like you need to you're put between a rock and a hard place right now things feeling icy and not very warm and welcoming <clears throat> maybe you are expressing yourself and it's not going well i see you walking away okay i see you walking away um, from the situation and it could be that you end your situation and for some of you it could be like you know what i'm done until you figure yourself out the door's here if you come at me straight but if you continue breadcrumbing me and giving me bullshit, i'm not doing it you're taking back your power <clears throat> You have other options, by the way. Not that it's a surprise. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But you have the Prince of Wands here. This is um, someone who once again gets excited about their own ideas and notions. Um, they could come at you in a rush. Be careful that they're not in it for the minute. But they are indeed in it to win it. So you want to be sure. I mean, this horse is even rearing its legs. I don't feel like this experience is something that you want. But it could be something that you think okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my pipes cleaned out <laughs> and just kind of forget the other person I don't know what your situation is right but that a lot of clouds behind here so everything's super nebulous this is starting to look like a mask so this isn't going to stay for long term if that's what you're wanting and I feel like what you're wanting is this you're wanting commitment in the life the happy wife happy life happy husband happy life whatever but you want the house you don't want like anything extravagant but you want that partnership emotional fulfillment and that's going to be tops on your list and if it doesn't meet this criteria you're going to burn that contract and move on i'm going to use these other cards um here and i'm going to talk about the queen of wands because she's featured here she's my favorite queen of all okay um she's very mysterious it could be that you have some mystery of your own very self-possessed, self-contained. People are always looking and spying and trying to see what you're up to, what you're doing. I love how these little sunflowers are trying to pop in. Almost like you can't see me, but you know what? She knows. This is she who knows. Um, she's extremely fiery. She could have your own business. Your animalistic instincts can be um, something that drives you into profit. It can also drive your business, whatever the case may be. But let's look more at this selenite, okay? Selenite, please. I will learn how to shuffle 
on camera and still experimenting, I apologize. And actually, once again, before I forget, if you can please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, comment on my little channel, and that would really help me out. Okay, so selenite, what else do we need to know about pile number two? <laughs> Queen of Hearts. I feel like you do wear your heart on your sleeve. I feel like I love, um, oh my God, seahorse. I love seahorses and I, I just, they're just really powerful. Um, they're fierce little creatures. I think that you have a lot of intuition, a lot of emotion as well. You might be a little bit old fashioned in your thinking, old fashioned, meaning that you want, you know, the kind of cookie cutter idea, but you don't care if it's like, um, <clears throat> a very you, you don't care if it's like an extravagant home or whatever you're happy with like toast butter and coffee or whatever the case may be like a real simple simple kind of a life as long as it's a true partnership you're not and you're very spiritual so if your mate um in your romantic life doesn't look like this you're not going to accept it i feel like you're very psychic for those of you not partnered at all you can be attending more to your psychic life um, I think that that adorns you, um, that really makes you stand out from a lot of other people. And I still feel like people are looking at you. One more card, one more card, please. Okay. The seven of swords, this could be you deciding, you know what, I'm going to go at it alone. I don't want those ones that are thrust upon me. <laughs> Um, people coming at me with like lower base intentions, ideas. I don't want it. I have a pure heart and um, very spiritual. I still feel like you're very, very spiritual. And so Selenite, um, I think that you're not going to mess with that. You're going to do your own thing. You're going to be the lone wolf if you're not at all. If your partner doesn't match up, you are out. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for pile number two. Pile number three. These are all have been really good, actually, um, as far as being positive, I think. Pile number three. If you chose pile number three, um, actually, I want to ask you for a moment to take this time to like, share, comment, subscribe to my little channel. I would really appreciate it so I can continue doing more of this. Um, it'll help me to know that people aren't even caring if they see this. So <laughs> here we go. Hematite, okay, very solid, very cleansing and pure as well. Very protective. New love coming towards you. I see three little angels here coming towards you and another with an offer. It could be divinely guided. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Let's see what this is about. I'm going to kind of shuffle back here because it's easier. And then since I haven't learned how to shuffle yet, I'm going to torture you for just a moment. My hematite, pile number three. What do they need to know about this new love, please? For the highest good, thank you. I'm gonna take these two that are peeking out, or this many that are peeking out, and we'll start here. I have temperance for you. Okay, temperance. Very important to be balanced right now with this offer, with this person that's looking at you, that you are looking at them. Um, Somebody that has really stirred your romantic feelings. Maybe you've been in a dry spell for a long time. Maybe you feel like you have been frozen as a statue, but I feel like it is divinely guided, actually. Um, this one stands for even this angel is like someone who's passed from the other side, your ancestors coming to help. And they know that you have been feeling dead in the water for a long time. Maybe perhaps just frozen, like I can't get my love life on board. I can't move things along, whether... You are in a partnership right now, situationship, relationship, whatever the case may be. It could feel like maybe things have died and they're just really, it reminds me of petrified wood, okay? And I think that your ancestors are coming to transmute this energy because two chemicals are being mixed together to form a third. I think that there is um, a way that this is going to transmute and grow if you allow it. You have divine protection. You also have a halo on your head. I feel like you are getting 
Again, messages from your higher power that's being illuminated. Your crown chakra is being illuminated. Um, I think that you're looking for things that are going to be a lot pure. That things have been once upon a time stripped down to the bone. I feel like most of you have not been partnered in a long, long time as well. Okay, I do see that there is a promise. There is a rainbow behind you. And perhaps you've like looked at it for a long time and just thought, okay, I just don't see it. But things are going to start turning. Keep one foot on land. Keep one toe in the water. A couple of toes. And be sure that you are balanced in action with this new love. Okay. That's what I'm getting. You need a little bit of balance there. Keep grounded. Your next one. Woo. One of my all-time favorites. The sun. I'm getting a lot of purity here. Um with your intention with your just naked before the world you people know right away what you want because you don't make any bones about it i feel like you might ha even have a desire for crystals i feel like this could be um citrine which is <clears throat> incredibly gorgeous citrine might be really helpful to you at this point in time if you get yourself a little chunk of citrine some flowers can mean something to you as well that i affiliate it with the um the uh queen of wands actually queen of wands and this is about you are looked at so favorably by other people people staring at you people wanting you so you're super attractive this could be for my leos my aries signs as well um i feel like you are on a horse but not like oh you're on a high horse people may see that about you kind of like you're a little bit higher than what they can attain but you're not arrogant at all I mean, this child's like, look, hey, I see you back. So maybe it's like people look at you and put you on a pedestal. And you're like, no, like I see you back. I see you too. And just because I'm like in the buff and totally naked, um, my horse is willing to bow. Like I'm willing to bow down off my high horse. I'm not arrogant. People may see me that way. It's just that I have standards, right? And that's okay. <clears throat> So the Four of Pentacles, it, with your standards, you have decided, I'm going to hold on to my resources, my money, my time, my energy, my effort, my love, even my shine. I'm going to withdraw and hold those things back until the right person comes through or until my partner, if you're currently partners, decides um, that they're going to match that energy, right? Because we're talking about new love. It could be renewed love as well. But for most of us, this is just new love. You're not going to give any time at all. Look, she has, he, or he has run through these stairs many, many times. There's so much concrete around. It's like I'm not wasting time on that anymore. I've been through the gauntlet. I know that game, and I'm not doing it. Okay, for my hematite people, what else do we need to know, please? Hematite. <clears throat> Pile number three. What the hell? <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me new love be careful that you're not enslaved by your own ideas by the past by past behaviors that you don't project those on other people expecting them to behave in the same manner you can get a little bit caught up in your head get obsessive or this other person can be obsessed with you so you want to be careful that everything is in a balance and not like tied to the devil that you are repeating patterns and get repeating patterns and maybe somebody is trying to control you or you're controlling another person you wind up attracting the same kind of material the same kind of devil okay we want we want the <clears throat> new new level new devil we don't want the devil at all but we want a new level okay and this can even be that you have discarded a relationship like that <coughs> excuse me and you just don't want to repeat this cycle. So you're being super careful. Look at how he's like super protective over his whole body. And she's a little bit like, yeah, it, it's kind of hot, <laughs> you know, whatever the thing may be. It may even be like a kink situation where you get into like a Dom said, um, relationship. I don't know you, obviously. But you want to be careful that this whole thing just isn't a pattern. I'm getting a pattern of repeating itself. You don't want that. That's why the you know things haven't worked out thus far we want different patterns in our lives so i would even suggest you take you a piece of paper and write down your patterns um and what i mean by that is okay <clears throat> i had this relationship 
in the end they wound up being liars and cheaters i saw the red flags ahead of time i ignored said red flags and i went ahead and jumped into it headlong hoping for the best what did i get out of it i got a lot of pain i got a lot of misery i got a lot of self-doubt i lost my self-esteem um i got beat up for some of some of you had some physical altercations with these other people in your past or one other person we don't want to attract the same garbage right we don't want to be chained to that <clears throat> so don't allow it to come and don't speak it into your life if you notice red flags end it immediately okay make sure that that is a death it's done it can't come back into your life <clears throat> i have to say this um some of you guys might be allowing your horniness to overcome your logic okay you might be like oh it's just been so long and let me just do it's gonna go nowhere it's gonna be a repeat of a cycle of like a one night stand a fling it's not gonna have any sting power if that's you okay if that's what you want more power to you but i suspect that that's not what you're wanting because this is divinely guided oh look at that i just mixed them um, okay i'm taking it i am taking it so you want a divine kind of love a heavenly a given kind of love one that this person sees you and you see them and you speak the same language perhaps one or both of you are in the medical field pharmaceutical or pharmacia can have something to do with um your love of botany of i don't know i'm getting to some of you guys like maybe smoking pot or wanting to be in that kind of life or one of you guys have like medical marijuana card whatever the case may be i don't know you but i do see the medical thing here and it's a deep love it's a deep connection it's a deep understanding perhaps you know i know that um i read different articles that talk about how different um strands of um a pot can help some children with seizures and stuff like that so it could be something it's a crusade that both of you have that you see eye to eye i see you you see me and there is a depth there that nobody can intervene it's an instant connection i feel like you've traveled from afar they have as well this is solid this is gross so whatever this is you share a passion that is unequal and unmatched by any other person out there um if you're currently partnered it could be that your partner just returns to you in this way but more i just see the new love i feel like it's it could be a renewed love i just see new people coming into your life right check this out eight of wands <clears throat> eight of wands so here we go um this talks a lot while i let my dog in again sorry for the interruption here Eight of Wands talks a lot about a lot of messages, a lot of messages by emails, by social media, people commenting on your pictures, on your post, anything like that, Insta, Instagram, it could be via TikTok, whatever. Um, it could be even getting messages of like old fashioned phone calls. <laughs> Who does calls anymore? I don't even know, but I guess it's possible. Um, but I do see a lot of wants coming your way. People that want to spark your interest. That are, you know, that are excited about the, this person that chose pile number three, the hematite. And I think that you're going to be really self-protective. You're going to start drawing only, allowing those messages and entertaining things that are going to grow and flourish. I see growth here. But I do see that there is a lot of barrenness, a lot of like rocks that you've climbed. Maybe you've been pressed up against a rock and feeling like you can't move in a mobile. You're not putting yourself in those situations again. Okay, so I think that you're going to be really selective about whom you choose into your romantic life. Number nine here. <clears throat> nine of Pentacles. We are going to address this right now in a moment. <clears throat> nine of Pentacles is being very self-assured self-aware allowing people into your space if you choose you don't have to you know that but you are on solid ground you're focused on you on your growth on your permanence on your wealth look at all these great she spent time um growing those from like nothing to full bloom 
um, and being able to get the produce from it. And she's very stable. I think that you're very unusual. Uh, you have unusual hobbies. You're very self-possessed, self-contained. Mm, I think that you've been around the block a little bit and you know what beauty is to you and you're not willing to compromise that. You're not willing to put up with scallywags who give you the promise of I'm in it for the win it, for the minute <clears throat> and, um, and don't really have any sting power. I think that you have an ability to quickly assess and cut through the BS. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I think that this Falcon, you have the ability to even look into the future, like fast forward. When somebody comes in with new love for you and you're like, you know what? And you can make that assessment and look and see, do they have staying power? Do they have what you want? Um, and if not, again, you won't entertain it. So you are comfortable being single, but you also have the ability to allow anyone into your garden that you wish. Um, I think that where you live might be a little bit unusual and different than other people. Maybe your decor is different. Um, maybe you like to sew or clothing that is just different and not the norm for your culture. And maybe you've adapted another culture that isn't by nature yours, but that you're extremely drawn to it and that's why you've adapted it, right? So let's address <clears throat> the three of swords. I'm going to take this one. I feel like this is more of a reference to your past. Um, you've had a lot of betrayal, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, and it feels like it's been really excessive. It's almost to the point where it's like this heart can be cut up and almost stuck in the blender. It's been that hurt before. It's caused a lot of um, tumultuous emotions. <clears throat> even affected like how you speak, how you're speaking, your truth and things like that, which is why I feel like you're just remaining silent, making assessment and moving on without really causing a lot of drama over it or allowing people to know how badly you've been hurt and that that is your template to look at things. So I just got vertigo. I don't know if that means anything to any of you. Um, <clears throat> it may cause you just to uh, have even physical symptoms. Maybe you're having physical symptoms of people around you and sorry to be watching for that because a lot of us are getting a ton of messages right from spirit and our bodies are changing even if we're older um or younger or whatever we're opening up more to spirit god whomever your higher self <clears throat> here we are fully encompassed within your own power your own strength this is once again the leo card and being able to contain your animalistic instincts i have dog glitter which is obviously fur <laughs> it's what happens when you have pets um but anyways she is hugging the lion and so i feel like she, you're really taken into account your animalistic nature you are fully in control of it you're not going to be like hey one and done or anything like that you want a special kind of love and so you're harnessing your inner inner animalistic instinct how else can i put it um this to me kind of looks like a phallic symbol or male genitalia i don't know why but that's what i'm getting <laughs> from there even though that's not the intent um i do see that there's lush once again around you if you continue to harness yourself and just be patient i'm getting be patient and wait because you're going to know who the right person is you're not going to jump and dabble um, and that'll cause a lot of chaos and more emotional heartbreak. You are going to be patient and wait. You are in a strength position. Woo! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You are the alchemist. You are going to manifest and bring those things into being that you want. You have at your table, at your disposal, and in your, your kill kit, <laughs> I want to say, you have every tool imaginable and available to you. You have the gift of sight of protection you have the fire you have the ability to cut through the bullshit um you have the spirituality i see a lot of purple here and that is a very firm foundation for you by the way um you have the ability to throw your lot in to be patient to um be in it for the long haul in it to win it and the emotional maturity to be able to have that happen i see this as emotion connected to your higher thought and energy I love this about you. So keep on keeping. This is a great alchemist, a magician, and you will create what you think, what you study. So perhaps study what you want. Let the rest of it burn through. 
and get rid of it if it's not you. But I do feel like you are going to manifest something incredible. And I think even he looks like a little bit like Santa Claus. I'm filming this in December, of course. So um, it's kind of interesting to me. I do want to take a couple of these other cards. What else do my hematite people need to know? That's going to help them. Andrew, please take a moment to like, share, comment, subscribe to my little channel. Much appreciated. We're going to take this one. Prince of Hearts. <clears throat> you want someone who's romantic. Who's going to offer you romance and love. And a little bit of frills, bells and whistles. Okay, you want some fanfare um, to come towards you. You want, you want to be fussed over. Let's not kid ourselves. But who does not... So you want somebody solid, but you also want to be fussed over a bit. Express their emotions towards you. And maybe go a little bit over the top. That's interesting. I didn't realize I took these. Oh, some are just upside down. I'm going to put it right side up just so you can see it, but I'm going to read it the way I pulled it upside down. <clears throat> this is a world. Worlds are about endings, right? Um, completions, the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new one. This is about her saying, you know what, enough of the past, I'm headed towards a future. It's number 21, boils down to a three, which makes me think of creativity cooperation. In the reverse, I'm going to read it basically backwards. I feel like you don't want things to end or someone doesn't want things to end with you. Um, you don't want time to speed up for things to change. You want things to remain the way they have been with your current partner. Or you are stuck in a mindset of the past, of someone attached to your past, which I find kind of interesting. So you don't want things to progress, maybe, from offering all of these emotions and excitement and, hey, let's go on a date. Hey, I think you're beautiful. Can I brush your hair? Can I touch your hair? Um, I love that lip gloss that you're wearing. Or you have such a strong jawline. Can I give you a massage? Can I give you a foot rub? I'm thinking about you all the time. All those messages, you don't want that to end and you don't want, maybe you're fearful that the future, those things will end. And so you're like, no, I don't want the future to come here. Um, I do see court with this for some of you. So you can have a court case or something involving court. And that is why um, she's like, you know what? I don't want the future to come. Perhaps it's a marriage or something like that. Maybe your significant other is married or they want to be married I don't know what the deal is but you don't want things to change okay and it could be also if you're not partnered right now that you don't want um, you want this person to always be have the ability to express their emotions and to tell you and to make you feel secure okay otherwise it's gonna cause a lot of strife in your heart it's gonna cause that fighting, the energy of I'm not sure if I'm important, all those other issues that we do not want to attract. So you're going to be able to communicate with your significant to be if you are not partnered that, hey, this is what I need. I need um, love to be communicated kind of in a rich and abundant way. And I get that if that's you. Okay. So with that, uh, I will let you go once again. Thank you so much for um, viewing this. And I hope and I wish the highest good for you. Thank you and namaste.